Oh no, we're haunted by the past. <laughs> well, they did kill a man. Hello, Hello lovely, lovely people. people. Welcome back to Haley and Stella. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And we have something very, 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 very special for you guys today. Uh, so as you know, we've been doing some musicals on this channel, and we've been loving them. Truly, we're a couple of theater nerds. Well, we love to sing we and dance, most and they've been fun. Them. Well, <laughs> I don't, I've been having fun even with the bad ones. But uh, we've been starting to kind of get back to our roots and do a little bit of horror, and it's and we're thinking that's going to be the direction uh, we're moving in for a little bit, just for just for a bit. But we thought as like a final exit, a final bow, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. As a final <laughs> goodbye, we're going to kind of do a musical that's a little bit of both. So um, some of you guys may remember when we were viewers of White Noise Reacts, one of the big things we loved watching them react to were the Star Kid musicals. And you guys have been requesting <laughs> Nerdy Prudes Must Die, the most recent Star Kid musical so far, because there's another one, I believe, in it's, talks yeah, it's coming right out. now that they yeah. keep they keep they're, they're advertising, but yeah. they're hinting at it. Most recent Star Kid musical. Um, I have been checked out of Star Kid for a little while. I'm sorry, I'm a bad fan. However, okay. Haley has not. Haley, would you like to <laughs> demonstrate your expertise? <laughs> well, I mean, if y'all have already seen the musical, you already know who I'm dressed as. So. Uh, um, I was like one of those people who was like counting down the days till Nerdy Prudes Must Die, like, till the YouTube cut. They they released, like, a special, like, unedited reaction. Or not reaction. Ooh. <laughs> um, un I'm like, uh, my brain is so in reaction mode. Do. Yeah, I know. Unedited, like, cut of the musical online a month earlier, like, on their, uh -huh. on their website for money. And I had to physically, like, it physically hurt to not pay to like watch to watch it early so i forced so myself to wait unedited as in like one camera yeah, angle yeah. not jumping yeah, around yeah. i see it was just like one one little thing um but yeah i've been obsessed with it i like bought the music immediately like if it had been on spotify it would have like affected my spotify wrapped i'm sure i listened to it so <laughs> much like I love this musical, and uh, I love all of, like, the Hatchetfield lore. I've seen every single Nightmare Time, which is, like, these little plays that they did during the pandemic that are, like, in between Black Friday and Nerdy Prudes Must Die. They're not essential viewing, so if you haven't seen them, don't worry. You can which still, I have not. You can still enjoy Nerdy Prudes Must Die, um, but you are going to catch a little bit more lore if you have seen them. Awesome. I'm... I'm so excited. So Haley's here to represent those of you who are the mega fans who know all the things. I'm here to represent those of you who are like, what the heck is this? I don't <laughs> even know. Um, I've I've seen, obviously, I've seen the guy who didn't like musicals. I've seen Black Friday. It's been a hot minute since I've seen both, but I remember a decent amount of the general. There's not a whole lot of lore in either of those, if I remember, or at least not a lot of connection. I think most of the lore was in Nightmare Time, which I have not seen in completion. So I'm going to miss some stuff. That's okay. Haley's here to hold my hand and guide me through it. Um, and this is going to be a Patreon exclusive reaction. Uh, we're going to release this on Patreon. And if you guys are watching it, thank you so much for supporting us. Maybe at some point we'll upload it to YouTube as a treat, but that'll be probably down the line. So for now, you guys are part of the exclusive club. <laughs> You're special. Um, so yeah, we thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, um, <laughs> we're gonna just get into this musical. It's a little long. I'm strapped in for the ride. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you enjoy. Oh, she's loud. I was literally about to say that exact same thing. my ear. <laughs> help! Somebody help me, please! <laughs> I recognize that voice. Hey, 
Shapiro! Way to get a lot of this mess! Sweetly Ralphed when he saw it. Hatchet Field's finest, huh? Fucking hell. <laughs> what do we got? Janitor found the body this morning. Victim's been identified as Richard Lipschitz, age 18. I leave Chicago because of the blood and guts, and what do you know? They got him here, too. Coroner put the time of death around 8 p.m. Friday night. Multiple lacerations to the head and chest. <laughs> they Ooh. twisted his nipples off. <laughs> Then finished the job by drowning him in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Richie here got purple nurpled and swirly to death. Face down in the fucking John. What a way to go. Well, that's not all. The killer <sighs> left a little love note for us. Penned in the victim's blood. Nerdy prudes must die. First the Jaegerman boy. Now this. Hey. I know it's supposed to be connected? sad, but I'm so excited. Know, I'm just like grinning. Do Nighthawk shit in the woods? <laughs> they shit on I my mean, I guess sometimes. it's sad. But <laughs> these hey, musicals Shapiro, kind of bridge the gap. What are we gonna do here? We're small town cops. We're a little out of our depth. Jesus, how the hell did this happen? I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah. R.I.P. John, who plays, he was Paul in The Guy yes. He took some voice lessons over the pandemic. The and, there, oh, yeah, I was gonna, because I always find it interesting that some of them are really well trained and some of them are more like actor actors. Mm -hmm. and my life but is his voice is really great. Yeah. Not that it wasn't before, but it's just, he's practiced quite a bit. And then Lauren always kills it with this, the, the soprano voice, man. Sweating. I can't cut through all the tension. It's hell on earth, you know. I'm tweeting all about it. I take it blow by blow. But I never scream or shout it. Passing period is over. Find your seats. High school is killing me. It's got me all out of reach. I have to like resist the urge to do the choreography because <laughs> I've seen it so many times. I feel like I know it. This is supposed to come out in 2021. But. It's one hell of a normal abnormality. And I can't survive it for only so long. High school is killing me. I'm so fucking. Hey, hey, Geek. Me? Your name's Peter, right? Yeah. Hi, Pete. We've been in classes together for a long time, haven't we? I'm so fucking dead. Well, since the first grade. Yeah, and I'm just realizing I've never introduced myself. I'm Stephanie. I'm so fucking dead. Oh, well, Water, the mayor's daughter. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but my friends call me Steph. We're friends, aren't we, I'm Pete? I'm so fucking dead. I don't know, are we? Well, I wouldn't advertise it to the whole school or anything, but... Uh... But there's an unspoken bond between us. We're classmates, comrades, we're Nighthawks, and we don't leave anyone behind. Well, I got left behind this morning. Bus driver's a fucking asshole. Yeah, we succeed together, we fail together. Rip. And I won't mince words. I'm gonna fail this test, Peter. Unless you help me cheat. Cheat? I'm so fucking dead. Eight o'clock bell ring, place my head on my desk. Come on, just finish your exam, pass it to me, and I'll put my name on it. Oh. Twelve o'clock, Girl Scout, can I just get my rest? But won't we get into trouble? Please Taking please. the test again Don't you does sound cool. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Cheater! Oh God! Butt out, Chastity! High school is killing me. It's got me all out of rhythm in my melody. My melody. It's not cool. It's a tragedy. I've been thrown in the walls of the community, and I can't survive it for only so long. And I still despise. Need this. 
so good. My school is killing me. Grace, just be cool. Fuck you, biology. Never. Oh, High school waste chastity. I do know it's her. It's Mulberry, they're cheating. I'm, I'm so, so fucking, fucking dead. dead. It's yeah. interesting. They, like, kind of gone against the casting, um... Traditions with this group, except for Joey. Peter, <laughs> Joey is always I know. <laughs> the nerd. office now. <sighs> Great chastity, that little snitch. Man, I hate that nerdy prude. Oh God, I am dead. I am so dead. What's the matter? Is your first academic misconduct? Don't sweat it. It's two hours detention, tops. I'm not worried about the principal. I'm worried about what the popular kids are going to do when they find out I was talking to you. I don't need this kind of attention. Okay, so you don't want to be bullied. No, I want to be invisible. And why do you come to public school dressed in suspenders and a fucking bow tie? Because <laughs> bow ties are high class. <laughs> do you remember Travis Coulson? Oh yeah, the really poor kid. Didn't he and his family starve to death? No, and they weren't poor. He wore a dirty shirt once, and he got bullied so bad that his parents had to transfer him to Sycamore. Sycamore? <laughs> I'd rather starve to death. And these suspenders are to hold my pants up. One time, Brad Callahan pants me in the sixth grade right in front of Sarah Zimmerman. <gasps> Not Sarah Zimmerman. Oh my god! You're my girl Peter! Oh god. <laughs> Can I ask about it? It's not actually a micro penis. <laughs> I was a kid. It's grown since then. Well, there goes your claim to fame. This outfit is a tapestry of my trauma. It is designed to provoke as little teasing as possible. <laughs> Anyone ever do this? Every damn day. My titties are tenderized. <laughs> but it's better than getting saddled with another humiliating nickname. I have a real name. Peter Spankowski. Oh my god. Do you know who that is? It's Polish. Do you remember Ted no. Spankowski from the guy who didn't, didn't like musicals? You were this is his little brother. Yes. This is his oh, little brother. Oh, the resemblance is uncanny. uncanny. <laughs> oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. I can't let him see me talking to you. He's cream nerds for less. <laughs> what? Who has? Spankowski, who are you Maybe running from? We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> The hallway unlock, his fists are always half cocked. He's got me hiding in my locker. He's got the face of a saint, that post pubescent strength, the hottest girl. Yeah, he knocked her. You have a girl I'll seduce her. You're not him, you're a loser. It's best to drop and play dead. Place your the hands on your thing, neck, call the feds, I think the about He's like the fashion ahead. choices for these nerds is that I would wear all of them. Like, they have like, these ladies are wearing fantastic sweaters, you know what I'm saying? I would buy those in a heart truly. The mushroom sweater. Never look in the eye, he's a literal monster! How literal are we talking? He's juicy as Jack, his hormones on the attack, he's the horror in every rumor! <laughs> Swear to God, he has fangs. Everyone knows how he bangs. No one to blame if there's no accuser. I once was his tutor. Then I regarded my future. You better. Like a night hockey praise, like a jockey cliches. And we pray, and we pray. You better leave your hopes behind. No one's gonna stop him. You better hope he's out of sight. Or you're doomed to be a victim. Go oh, off, kid Layla. He's a literal monster. The costume changes in these always get me. I can't not think about that. They're just, oh, they're so fast. Hey! Shit lips! It's lip shits, Richard Lips. <sighs> Max Jigerman. His hair is killing Start me. period, shit lips. I've got to get to remedial algebra. <laughs> Meaning I got to walk through this hallway and I don't need you stinking it up. 
Sorry, Max. My mistake. I, I never intended to walk I thought they said Jaegerman had died already. Oh, they well, went back. Difference between intent this is like a couple impact. weeks before the beginning. I yeah, but, but he's gonna die? I thought he was gonna be the killer or something. What do you think? So I, was, I, I feel like it. I let him interesting. Because <laughs> yeah. he's not a nerdy prude. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> no, dumbass. I think for this hallway infraction, I'm gonna have to issue a flick it ticket. Oh no, Max, please, can't you just fart on me or something? Oh, <laughs> sorry, fresh out of your favorite food. I think I'm just gonna have to flick it! Oh, oh, yes. Now move along, bitch! <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> hey, ho, heck no, co-ed dances gotta go! Hey, Maxie! Oh, look great. at what we got here! Oh shit, it's chastity belt! Oh, she's such a nerd! She's such a prude! She's so gross! Oh, really, Kyle? That's a hot take. How gross is she? Oh, they're super gross! Yeah, yeah, yeah! She's like a, a total two-bagger! Oh, a two-bagger! <laughs> What's a two-bagger? Uh, it means that she's so ugly that she's got to wear two bags on her head in case one falls out. So. Oh, that's <laughs> it, bro! That's so fucking funny! Yeah! <laughs> Jesus, Max! Get him up! Get this fucker up! <laughs> <laughs> now you listen to me, you stuttering prick. Nobody, and I mean nobody, talks that way about Grace Chastity. <sighs> Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, your face is killing me. <laughs> oh, please, we're trying to get the dance canceled. Tell your teammates. Hey, Grace, what are you doing? Getting the dance canceled. Homecoming's just an excuse for kids to dry hump in the gym. I run laps in that gym, and I don't want to slip on any wayward spunk. <laughs> <laughs> spunk. <laughs> Oh, this is already an interesting I setup. I wasn't books. expecting this. It's so high school. I don't think either of us are ready for that. I mean, we're only 18. <laughs> or what, Just you know, stereotypically high school on, seems like. Yeah. Balls. <laughs> Just one little date. You don't know me very well, do you? <laughs> I know that behind closed doors, repressed chicks are the biggest freaks. Nuns, librarians. Watch some porn. <laughs> You'll see. Tell me I'm wrong, dirty girl. <gasps> Don't call me that. But that's what you are, isn't it? My little dirty girl. I am only one man's girl, Max, and his name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> you tell him. And he is so good. I suggest getting acquainted with him before you end up roasting on a spit and how. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, ho, heck, no! Co ed dances gotta go! Oh, man. She is such a prude. <laughs> yeah, isn't she great? You could have any babe in school, Max. Why her? Forbidden fruit, <laughs> Nicole! Yeah, dude. It's because he can't have sweetest. her if he wants it. And I will not rest until I taste Grace Chastity's little peach. Ew. Was this, was this, this guy's um, Star Kid debut? Cry? Yes. How intense of a role. I know. You run and hide. I'm a literal. Don't need no one to tell me. High school will be my peak. So I'm willing to take yeah, let's go, Kurt. advantage. Yeah. There's only one out of reach. Her name is Chastity. It's a wound I can help her bandage. You all look disappointed but You couldn't do if you wanted you So keep on judging me That comes with in from me You can leave but you won't stay in your seat You better leave your home You better leave your <laughs> The dance moves are so good No one's gonna stop me It's so good. I really love the music in this song. It is good. It's also like, I mean, it's so cool to see how their budget has grown, but... Um, oh, Stephanie, 
I've had three staffers try to get a hold of you all day. Why weren't you answering? I was at school. Uh, this is politics, Stephanie. Learn to multitask. <laughs> Have you even seen the new polls? Your father is down. We're within the margin of error, and you're doing everything you can to fuck things up. It's like you don't care about this campaign at all. Wow, Miss Tessberger, it is like that, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, if it's not my October surprise. <laughs> Stephanie, next time you go they to cheat, play do it like a father lawyer and daughter. And don't get caught. I wouldn't Constantly, have gotten caught yeah. if it weren't for that nerd. Stephanie, little... please, I'd like to have an intelligent conversation with you. In other words, shut up. Yeah. Shut up. You out. <laughs> Stephanie, do you have any idea what's coming up in a mere matter of weeks? The election. The election. Oh. <laughs> the election. I had to personally call your principal this afternoon. Do you know they wanted to suspend you? Imagine how that would have reflected on me, the mayor's daughter. A deviant. A flunky. We came He's to like an the anti-Bill from the They're guy who didn't like musical. Yeah. You, but I am. Well, you so far, what has he been? He's been a cop, he's been a else. jock, and he's been a bad or dad. Else. He's very not Corey. How <laughs> ominous. What are you gonna do, ground me? Like, I won't just sneak out? Face it, old man, there's nothing you can threaten me with. Oh, really? Miss Tessberger? <laughs> hey, that looks like my phone. It is. Yeah. Be careful with that, Dad. Please, Daddy. I'll be careful with it. I'll carefully smash it with this hammer. You wouldn't. <laughs> not even you would do something that evil. You know my pictures are on there. It's not her pictures. I found a weak spot, haven't I? Your whole generation's enthralled to these fucking boxes, little app junkies. I'm going to free you of it, Stephanie. No! <laughs> Did you just throw your hand between the hammer and the phone? Yeah. Smartphones are for smart girls, not little dum-dums. You can have this back once you've raised your grades. I don't care if you have to lie, cheat, steal, or shock of all shocks. Read a book for once in your life. How? Am I supposed to study without listening to Spotify? Do you even know what you're doing? Oh, you're killing me with what you're doing! <laughs> if only, Stephanie. If only. Oh. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Bill would never do this, okay? <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be another, like, funky hey, song. Fellas, it was just an electric piano. Yeah, transition, like, yeah. You didn't get this physics project in motion? Huh? <laughs> Any slapper. You, you know, like Newton's law of motion, like physics. This project's on thermodynamics. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> it's just a little joke. I got it on good authority that I'm actually pretty funny. <laughs> funny looking. <laughs> Stephanie maybe. called him funny once. And not even that right now. Where's your bow tie? People are going to start thinking you're poor, Pete. Well, I, I'm trying out a new look, okay? Oh. At the library? <laughs> Who are you trying to impress, Ruth? <laughs> yeah. You don't even need to try with me, Pete. <sighs> it's funny because they're married to in real life. <laughs> Anyone, please! Jesus! Calm down, Ruth. Mm. I know what this is about. Somebody walks to the office with Stephanie Lauter, and suddenly he's Stefan Urkel. Well, <laughs> don't get your up, Urkel. Kid. She was just using you to cheat on a test. What was it like when she touched your arm? <laughs> Did you come? <laughs> Quit it! I need to know! We just had a nice talk. She's mm. cool. We know she's cool, Peter. Yeah. You're not. You and Steph... It's a fantasy, like a boy in his anime love pillows. <laughs> it's a beautiful dream, but I'll never hold the real Ray and Asuka in my arms. <laughs> He's an anime bro. <laughs> I knew from the outfit oh, that was what it was going to be. Silence your cell phone at the library. Sorry. <sighs> Who do you think it is? Probably a telemarketer. Oh, lucky. <laughs> He pronounces every like telemarketers hang up on yeah, every consonant, <laughs> everything. 
Hello? Hey, is this Peter Spankowski? Yeah? Hi, Pete, it's Steph. <gasps> from class. Oh, uh, yeah. S Stephanie Lauder, I know. <laughs> Pete's talking to Stephanie Lauder! Nani? <laughs> <laughs> Pete, you're never gonna believe this. I'm actually calling you on a payphone outside of that Italian restaurant on First. Uh, you know Pasquale's? Oh, yeah, Pasquale's. I, uh, I love that place. <laughs> yeah, their breadsticks are really good. What is she saying? What the fuck is she saying? Uh, listen, chill, I know chill, this chill. might be presumptuous, seeing as how I just got you in trouble, but uh, my dad took my phone away and I'm never gonna get it back unless I pick up my grades. So I was wondering if you could meet me here and help me study. <laughs> You want me to meet you at Pasquale's? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Could, could, could you hold on? Could you hold on for a second, Steph? What's the matter with you guys? You just told me not to get my hopes up! That was before Pasquale's! <laughs> That's where all the cool kids go to <gasps> homecoming! Oh. Wee -oo, wee -oo. This is not a thrill, Pete! <laughs> this is a date! A date! And, uh, I'd ask he really my is. Do it, he, I think he's one of the funniest the actors. <laughs> you can believe that. Oh, she beats you, Pete! Like, Princess Leia, you're her only hope. <laughs> really, Ruth? A Star Wars It's analogy. May the Fourth today, so on very is fitting. In every possible way. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, not you. Just these two fucking nerds that won't leave me alone. Oh. Well, can you ditch those nerds and come help me out? Uh, 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 oh, what uh, are you waiting for, Pete? A naughty schoolgirl wants her to help her study? God, they don't call it a cram session for nothing. Ruth is wild. She really is. Oh, stop being gross, both of you. I had a good day today, okay? A cool, popular girl told me I was funny. Can't we just leave it on a high note? You're telling me I gotta be funny again? I didn't do it on purpose the first time. Aww. Pete. You've been given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Someone's willing to tolerate your presence for a whole evening. This may never happen again. Destiny knocks but once. And yours is Stephanie Lauder. You lucky son of a bitch. Steph? I'll be there in 20 minutes. Pasquale! <laughs> I bet you call this luck. That's your perspective. I bet this song will suck. It doesn't take a detective. It's as cool as I think I am. It's as cool as I think I am. Buddy. Oh, oh, I love the music. <laughs> Princess Leia told me I just as soon kiss a Wookiee. I'm straight to DVD. No. More like a bootleg copy. I'm as cool as she thinks I am. I'm as cool as I think I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But what if all my thoughts were stronger? What if my beliefs were taller? What if I were king of the hill, captain of the team? She picked me. I hope I don't know the answer. Cheating's a two-way street. Uh-oh. But every crime needs a partner. I'm as cool as she thinks I am. I'm as cool as she thinks I am. I'm gonna have to lower my, my mic for a little bit because it's the bass is so basic. Puberty's got me fueled. She's the brawn of the brains. Can that really be true? Smarter than she thinks she is. She's smarter than she thinks she is. So sad. The boy who met her today or spoke to her for the first time today believes in her more than her dad.
But is that who I think I am? Yes. Is Believe in yourself. I <laughs> you can do bad things. <laughs> He's just going to help her study. Who do I, think I, that, I was gonna say, this is not so bad at all. I don't know why he thinks this is. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, well. I think well, you're like two well. seconds ahead of me. If it isn't Mike, will Peter Spankowski. I'll pause and then I'll pause. What's your quickly. button okay. show doing on my turf? Uh, Max, I didn't realize that the parking lot of Pasquale's belonged to you. So where's your bow tie, rich boy? I think you're better than me because you come from money. <laughs> Where's oh, your bow tie? No, I, I think the bow tie gave you the wrong idea. I'm not rich. Ugh! So you're a poor piece of shit then? <laughs> Had to sell your bow tie to feed your fucking family. <laughs> Look, I know what you want me to do. Okay, okay? there's only two two people according you want to, to Max. Grovel. Rich enough to Run, have a bow tie? So you're so poor you have to sell your bow tie to feed your family. Since the fourth grade, Max. Well, I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> Good job. He's I trying. just hyped myself up to come hang out with Stephanie Lauder, and after that, you don't seem so scary. Wait, Steph? Yeah, she invited me. Well, shit, if she's cool with the kid, then maybe I'm cool with him too. Shut the fuck up, Jason! <laughs> Poor Jason. He's trying to be open minded. <laughs> yeah, Correct. really. Spankowski? I don't seem scary to you? Hey, you're just a bully. And when you stand up to a bully, they lose their power. <laughs> Woo! How's that feel, Spankowski? Does it feel like I lost my power? I don't know what gave you the idea you could break bread with Stephanie Walter. She said... I don't give a fuck what she said. I did not consent to this rendezvous. <laughs> I decide who's cool and who's not. I decide if Kyle can date Brenda. The answer's still no. <laughs> By the way. Aww, but Kyle. Kyle just wants to date Brenda. You're not a nerd because of your glasses or your pimple dick. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nerd because I said so. I willed it into existence. <laughs> Man thinks he's I God. I bring order to Hatchfield High. Light to darkness. <laughs> I'm your God. I forgot that you he said that. Knees, bitch. It's time to say your fucking prayers. No. No. Amen. I feel like this role was written for All Jeff right, Lim in mind. Dig in. <laughs> this looks great, Mom. Well, nothing's as yummy like a mouthful of mother's meatloaf. Oh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how was the open house? Any bye? I'm afraid I'm going to have to cast a longer rod, Mother. Oh, Mark, why? I hate that he calls I her mother. No one wants to buy that. When it's his wife. Old house. What house, yeah. Dad? Oh, the old Waden place down on Hickory. Mm, that house. What's wrong with it? It's haunted. Everyone says so. <laughs> and that's why it'll never sell, Mother. Ghost stories. <laughs> you don't believe him, Dad? I only believe in one ghost, Grace. A holy spirit that resides in all of our hearts. You're right, Dad. <clears throat> and how was your day, sweetie? Did you get the dance canceled? I'm working on it. Give her time, Mother. <laughs> you would not believe what that Max Jaegerman said to me today. Jaegerman, the football star? <laughs> the game's coming up. That boy's got some arm on him. <laughs> yes, yes. He came up to me in the hallway and he asked if he could carry my books. Okay. Oh, Mark, I didn't know that sort of thing happened at Hatchetfield High. Scandalous. <laughs> Do you think you should call the boy's father? Oh, I don't know, mother. I wasn't much. Are we gonna older exclude the other things that he said to you? Books, uh, apparently, yeah, the book holdings. <laughs> I told him no. Obviously, I don't think about that sort of thing. Me and Max in carnal embrace—that's ridiculous. <laughs> Mom, will you pass the butt stuff? <laughs> <laughs> the butter, butter. Will you pass the butter? <laughs> I just want some head and butter. Bread. <laughs> Oh, girly. Bread oh. and butt sex to go with this big shaft of meat I'm gonna choke down. Oh, boy. Oh, criminy. Are you feeling all right, pumpkin? You do look flush. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I just, I got butterflies in my tummy. And they're flying real low today. <laughs> Why don't I draw you a bath? <laughs> oh, come on, Grace. You gotta stop fantasizing about some big, dumb, Football star. Some big, dumb, 
sexy? <laughs> Sweaty? How many layers of clothes does she have okay. on? Okay, so in one of the Nightmare Times, she's in it, and she mentions that she showers with a bathing suit because even she cannot see herself Greg. naked until she gets married. <laughs> of course, yes. Greg. Hello? What's cooking, dirty girl? I don't think that's actually him. Max Jagerman? What are you doing in my bathroom of all places? I couldn't stay away. I'm hungry. And here you are brewing up a big old pot of dirty girl soup. No, not the bath water. Oh, He's gonna drink the bath water. <laughs> my favorite. No! Listen. You call my bath water dirty girl She's... soup? This is wrong. This is so wrong. <laughs> I know. She's kind of into it. <laughs> Mind if I join you? You are. Max, what's that around your neck? Is that a crucifix? <laughs> this is her fantasy. Everyone's this is her perfect version of him. And this one's mine. I love <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Me too. But there's only one thing I love more. What's that? I love to fuck. <laughs> Okay, daddy needs a little of that dirty soup. I think this song Slice might kill you, Stella. Listen, that saucy. I swear you got me hypnotized. You're looking all filthy, like you know it's, it's wrong. It's like the first I, I feel like dream right. sequence that we've had. Right. I don't know if this is. I'll like... never ever tell you to behave. I am expecting you to be betray me. I'm only in if you're over it A one-way ticket power trip With no room for censorship, babe I'ma love ya all night long <laughs> This man just came to Star Kid to be a piece of meat But you gotta do wrong <laughs> They're like, are you down? Yeah, you gotta do wrong Oh, dirty, dirty girl Won't you sing for <laughs> me? Won't you love me? He's killing it though. This musical so many times that I forget what it's like to watch this scene for the first time. Every Star Kid musical has you a scene. Talk I feel to like me like similar. you're in a locker room. It's clear you never stepped in a classroom. You think I'm leaving room for you? The Trinity is more than two. You want me? Can't be skipping school for shame. I am expecting you to behave. You think your thirsty <laughs> cravings are brave? Take a sip I and love soap Angela. your soiled mouth. You want a tour really. of the house? You better straighten out. I don't know if y'all know. Ways. I wore a smosh hoodie a couple of videos back. It's just part of smosh. I love yes. She's on your knees, pray along. She also, the way she performs in this camera is very Rachel Bloom. Until dawn. Oh, dirty, very similar to her work. I'm a good girl. I'm a 
on occasion gets dirty. Dirty, dirty <laughs> girl, won't you sing for me? Won't you love, love me, me like you don't care? I won't care about you. Dirty, dirty girl, will you pray for me? While I love in poison sea air. Hey, Daddy needs a little of that dirty soup. Walk in. What have I done? Oh no. Damn these wandering hands! Damn these sinful loins! Are you all right in there, darling? I thought I heard moaning. And you know as well as I do, young lady, this is a no moan household. Yeah, Mom. Uh, it, it wasn't what a, a weird rule. It was a groan! Yeah, I'm doing a number two in here, a real big one. I'll get the plunger. <laughs> Come on, Grace. This isn't you? You can't be having impure thoughts? You're not even married! This is his fault. Max Jaegerman. He's gotta go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having impure thoughts, so it's your fault. <laughs> the mystery here is getting. Said he'd be there in 20 when, minutes and he never when showed. When does the death happen? They're waiting all <laughs> night. I ended up studying at a sheer boredom. Ew. Well, maybe you scared him off, Steph. Uh-oh. Pasquale's? You saved that place for, like, the fifth date. That's where you go before the first blowy. Everyone knows that. And he still stood you up. Girl, that must be so embarrassing for you. It wasn't a date, Brenda. Mmm, sure, Steph. Keep telling yourself that. Who is this guy, anyway? Standing up to the mayor's daughter like he's got no fucks to give? Not gonna lie, that's really sexy. <laughs> he's not sexy. It's... It's Peter. Spankovsky? Oh my god, the fucking bow tie kid? <laughs> Steph, I know he's rich, but... <laughs> Money the popular ever... kids have no idea what reality Oops, is. <laughs> nope. And, like, if you're on the football team. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait for the big game! Ah! <laughs> oh, you have to see our new cheer? So fab. Uh, not right now, Stace. Oh. Aww. Hey, uh... Dweeb! Yeah? yeah. Either of you seen Pete around? Why? Looking to kick him while he's down? Yeah, you got all our hopes up, temptress. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Come on! You lured him right into the lion's den. We thought you were waifu material, but you're just a bully. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna find new objects of our sexual desires. <laughs> then you'll be sorry. Yeah, you go, Rune. This? That's why nobody talks to you guys. What the hell happened to Pete? Okay, that's you? valid, oh, though. If someone said that to me, I would not talk to them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pete? Are you in here? Steph, this is the boys' bathroom. Grow up. Wow. These toilets aren't even in stalls. You all just watch each other pee? Oh, it's better than I ever imagined. Oh, Ruth. Oh. My God. Pete, what'd he do to you? What, this? You should see the other guy. I think he bruised his knuckles on my face. Oh. Come on, you can't stay in the bathroom all day. I'm not. Just during lunch, passing periods, and any times I might run into Maxie Agerman. Such bullshit. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Steph, the more you get involved, the worse things are gonna be for me. It's like I said, I'm not allowed to talk to you. Who does Max think he is? My dad? What a fucking psycho. No, I'm sorry, Pete. I'm going to the principal with this. Ha! Huh. This is Max Jaegerman, the quarterback of the Hatchetfield Nighthawks. If you think the principal cares more about us than the outcome of the big game, then you are willfully naive. That's some cool kid privilege right there. Well, we have to do something. And what, pray tell, may that be, Stephanie? I don't Stephanie. know. We... We... Destroy him! Oh, 
grace. Oh, oh my god. Bud, out, oh, Chastity. This is none of your business. <laughs> oh, it very much is my business. And not just because I'm the hall monitor and there are two girls in the boys' bathroom. Detention for both of you. What? God, you suck, Grace. <laughs> Max Jaegerman has made all our lives a living heck. <laughs> He's more than a boy. He's an idea. One that strikes fear in the hearts of the meek. <laughs> and lust in the souls of the innocent. We must strip him of his power and leave him helpless at our feet. How? With a little faith in the Father, Son, and some holy ghosts. Oh. So, if you notice, Grace doesn't swear. So she says, you yes. know, living heck and things like that. So in the first song, when they're cursing all the time, every time there's a swear word, she covers her mouth. <laughs> there it is, the old whaling place. Oh. Isn't this like breaking and entering? I'm not breaking anything. My dad's the realtor. Jingle jingle. <laughs> the house was built in 1910 by Matthias and Agatha Whalen. Wealthy, eccentric. They went on to build the city's most important landmarks, like the Starlight Theater, the Gazette, even the schoolhouse that would one day become Hatchet Field High. Mm. They took a backwater logging town and turned it into their own personal paradise, where they were free to indulge in their eclectic interests. What kind of interests? Oh, you know, a little Satanism. Oh, baloney. It's true. Human sacrifices, demonic rituals, sex magic. Uh -huh. Eventually, the people of Hatchetfield got fed up with this cult. An angry mob burst through those doors and found the Waylands and their followers and She just like read one bits. Wikipedia page. But as they say, nothing really dies in the Wayland place. Their angry spirits haunt these halls to this very day. And when Max Jaegerman comes in contact with these ghosts, we're gonna film the whole thing. We're gonna post a video of him crying for his mommy, wetting himself with fear. This and plan then doesn't feel he will very cease to be the most terrifying, hottest bully in Hatchetfield. <laughs> he will forever be known as hashtag potty pants. Potty pants. How about pissy pants? I'm not comfortable with the plan if it involves that kind of language. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this place. <laughs> yeah, it's we, we all are in the place. Mm -hmm. If you believe there are ghosts, yeah, why would you be like, great. to go there? Sorry, Sorry that's, that's me. me. I'm allergic to deal with I have overactive sweat glands. Bathing isn't safe for me right now. <laughs> God, you guys are nerds. Um, excuse me, if I wear antiperspirant, I break out in hives. And I scratch them and they bleed and pus comes out. I get pus in my pits. Great. Yeah, we're moving on from that. Don't bully me. Who invited her anyway? Steph's the most important part of the plan. You're the bait for our trap. You're gonna tell Max Jaegerman something super fun is going on in the Wayland place. Something he wouldn't want to miss, like a Bible study. Or a party. <laughs> Come on, guys. We can do this. <laughs> I love her. We're gonna bully the bully. We're gonna film him losing his coolie. We're gonna make it spooky. His goofy. Got a better plan. We'll make him shed his pants. Yeah. We're gonna invoke his fury by making him freak prematurely. And then we'll have him judged by a jury in the public eye. He's just a nerd in disguise. Okay, why do we keep doing that? Petey got the blanket, Ruby, you're in charge of Techie and Richie Tate. What's our budget? <laughs> Steffi gonna lure him oh. in with her charm. I am. And once we get him walking in the haunted and ancient old Wayland place. Yeah? Petey gonna jump on out. Jaeger gonna Jaeger out. We're gonna bully the bully. We're taking back the schoolie, the schoolie. We're gonna make a dirty movie where the losers win. Is on him. <laughs> we got a fealty, a duty. Standing for the nerdy, the prudy. Overturning and dethroning the bike. Gonna, gonna wreck his shit. We're gonna cut off his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Spill it's got to steal his lunch, you'll beat him up. No, we're gonna be real cool. Oh. <laughs> to beat a Jaegerman, you can't 
beat him where he's most equipped. Can't beat him where he's most equipped. Just try so size he's maximized, but we know how to strategize and use our tools. Ah! So we're not gonna <laughs> kick his ass. Do you wanna conserve your mass? We're, we're gonna, gonna kick, pop, flip, be cool. We're, we're gonna, gonna smash, slam, bang, stay cool. We're, we're gonna, gonna burn the pixels. Well, a little West Side no, Story we're reference. We're gonna be cool beans. Oh. We're gonna keep the beans cool. Beans. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna keep, keep the beans, beans the cool. Keep the beans the cool. Keep the beans, beans cool. Beans cool, excellent. We're gonna bully the bully. We're gonna, gonna rule the unruly. He's gonna, gonna do keep his booty and our problem solved. And our problem solved. And it's cool can evolve. And it's cool can evolve. We're gonna get the chart pleading. Watch the incumbent conceding. We're gonna make the nerdy. Our skin. Hell of a mission. We'll fight sin with sin. Let the games begin. I love this little group. Dream team right here. Mm. Um, some of them have issues, oh, but you know, yeah. don't we all? They have a lot <laughs> of issues. This prank in 4K. It's gonna look beast. Uh, you think I can get a little more light in here? Richie, the whole point is that it's in the dark. Well then, uh, I'm gonna have to shoot the whole thing in a wide, and it's gonna look like shit. Wait, wait. No, don't take me off your call list. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna switch marketing. my internet provider, but I still wanna talk. Hello? She's so dodony. Hello? Hello? Who was that? My boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a telemarketer. Okay, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> well, Jaegerman's on his way. Maybe her ex-boyfriend's a telemarketer. You never know. I don't know. I'm nervous. No, no, no. Don't be. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... Touch your shoulder one time. Super nice to be. Not really. <laughs> I'm just doing the bare minimum here. You're the best friend I ever had. Oh, that's sad. I think I'm in love with you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Richie, be honest. Am I reading as ghost or Lin-Manuel Miranda? <laughs> it's extremely Lin-Manuel. I was thinking that. You kind of look like that homeless guy from downtown. Oh. But that could still homeless work. guy from downtown was played by scary him. scary sometimes. Yeah. Also, um, according to Nightmare, Taren, Nightmare Time, yeah. canonically is Ted from like the past future. Thing. AP. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm missing so much. Check it out. <laughs> she came all the way out here just to help you. She's waiting for you, buddy. Really? You think Steph actually likes me? No. I'm talking about Ruth. <laughs> She's so fucking thirsty. <sighs> I mean, you could just uh, hit it and quit it, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, though. <laughs> <laughs> fucking useless, Pete. What? <laughs> All right, everyone, get to your posts. Max Yeagerman's coming up the walkway. Operation Potty Pants is about to commence. Okay. Uh, Let's go. Uh, I got a piss. <laughs> 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 Hey, Steph! It's the Jägermeister! <laughs> I brought the brews! Ruth, cue the sound effects. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Where's that creepy music coming from? <laughs> what kind of a party is this? Steph! Kyle! I think this is gonna go wrong Linda, somehow. Linda, you're gonna surprise me! Do it all fucking ready! I gotta take a piss! Max! <laughs> Who's there? Spooky. Max Yeagerman! <laughs> the subtitles call him Pate. <laughs> you <laughs> have disturbed the spirits of Wayland Hall! Oh yeah, the hat and the wig really pull it together. Now <laughs> shall be ours! Oh, oh shit! It's a fucking ghost! This is awesome, Grace. It's working! I always knew you fuckers were real! I've been scared of you my whole life! 
but it's time to stop running. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> he's too brave. He's had he's had alcohol. Hold <laughs> over here, ghost. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. Uh, Grace, we got a problem. What? Is he not buying it? No, he thinks the ghost is real. He's just really fucking brave. <laughs> uh, He's gonna square up on the ghost. You can't fight me. I'm an ethereal being, so... We'll see about that. I'm gonna make you say, Boo-hoo, bitch! <laughs> <sighs> yes! I make the dead <laughs> run in fear! I am Jagerman! I am God! Go, Nighthawks! <laughs> Oh, Nighthawk! Turned in the skeleton. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, hit him with the skeleton. The skeleton. Oh, shit! Oh fuck! I didn't think there'd be a skeleton here. I'm so Not fucking scared of skeletons. <laughs> Maybe I should just run. Where, Max? Back home, so Dad can call you a little cuck. Can't even fight off one lousy skeleton. No. Of I course, got he's no he's at home. Hey, Skeleton! Like, I got a bone to pick with you, bitch! <laughs> Come here! Uh -oh. oh no. Wait! We gotta abort the plan! It's not working! It's working for me! He's so violent! Max, <laughs> <Mac>, stop! <laughs> Steph, we can't have a party here. This place is hella haunted. Get behind me. I'll protect you. No, no it's not real, stupid. That's not a ghost. It's Peter Spankowski. It's all a prank. A trick to scare the shit out of you. Because you deserve it. What? You're telling me you nerds put this whole thing together just for me? <laughs> wow. I, uh... I thought you guys hated me. <laughs> He's so <Yeah>. dumb. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> he looks like Germa too, this a little bit, really which great. is really killing me. <laughs> You're not pissed? Oh, are you kidding? No, 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 this is like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. That's so sad. When the, uh, when, when the ghost came out and my heart was like, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, and the skeleton. Oh, <laughs> that was really special. Oh, it's kind of cute, though. They got to overcome his fears. You know, maybe I had you guys figured all wrong, you know? I thought you were a bunch of nerds, but, uh, you guys throw one hell of a party! Yeah! Uh, 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 oh, he's still alive. Oh, my God! I told you this place wasn't structurally sound. He just fell like three stories. Uh, come on. Oh, heck. Oh, heck no. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, uh, look what you fucking nerds made me do. I pissed my fucking pants. Uh, Mission accomplished. You were wondering how he dies. <laughs> Max. Yeah. Don't move, okay? We're gonna Shut call it I had a guess. You're just like these fucking losers. I'm gonna kill you all. Nerdy prudes must pay. Nerdy prudes must die. Max? Max? Holy shit, we killed him! Oh my god, oh my god! And he was about to have a redemption no, arc too, man. Mm -hmm. The video will show! Yeah, the video will show this was clearly an accident! Uh, I actually didn't get the fall, but I did get a lot of incriminating footage of us luring him here with malicious intent. Oh, it's gonna make us look even more guilty! My son, we're going to jail! And with my luck, no one will even bother making me their bitch! No, no, we're not going to jail! Really, Steph, because we just murdered a football star right before the big game. This wasn't murder. And it wasn't an accident. It was an act of God. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Max Jaegerman was a perv, and now he's rotting in hell for it. Oh, yeah. Like that's gonna fly in court. He was smoked. We're not going to court. Trace, I don't know what you're talking about, but we have to tell the police about this. Why? Max Jaegerman was a menace, and now he's gone. She's nuts. No more teasing. I love her. No more bullying. No more tickle in our mommy spots. <laughs> don't you see? We're free. She's like, it's perfect. He's dead, and People now I don't have to worry he's about her. Gone? This is Hatchet Field. People go missing every day. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, I mean, I guess she's right. Okay, okay. We're gonna bury the body right here in the lobby. <laughs> underneath the wood. I love that they brought it back. Where his corpse will rot. Spin. This is a lot. We're gonna hack all his limbs off. You say hack all his limbs off. Yeah, why do you have to do that? Yeah, we're gonna hack all his limbs okay. off. Stop saying it. How else he gonna fit? Petey, grab the hatchet, Ruthie, you can grab the acid and Steffi tape. You want me to film this? We're gonna tape him up in plastic after dousing him with the bleach. Tape him up after dousing with bleach. bleach. I think I'm gonna throw up. No, this is where you grow up and accept your fate. Ah. Do you wanna get the fullest ride? Then start cutting right above the thigh. We're gonna bury the bully. We're, We're gonna, gonna go to Julie. Surely, I hear prison is cushy. Oh, my ass was back. He'll never be back. We're selling crap! I'm gonna strip him down! We're gonna bury the bully We gotta gotta line up our stories It's gonna go to never haunt me Cause he's already dead No one's gonna snitch! Hide him from the bed Can we say he slips? Alright, go get us on arms I just cut off his nips End of Act One. This is Hatchet Field Action News with Dan and Donna. It's been Hi, two weeks Donna. since the disappearance of local football star Maxwell Jaegerman, and the teen's whereabouts still remain a mystery. Earlier today at City Hall, Mayor Solomon Lauder issued this statement. The disappearance of young Mr. Jaegerman has rocked this community to its very core. But you can rest assured I have made every possible resource available to the coats of the Hatchet Field Nighthawks. I will not let the disappearance of one really boy affect our else. team's performance in the big very, game. Yes, very important the Nighthawks to the town. will take the field tonight, and they will win. Go Nighthawks! <laughs> <laughs> He's an ex Inspiring for sure. words in this time of need. We can only hope they bring some comfort to Max's classmates, who have already endured two weeks of heartache. <laughs> this has been the Kyle best two weeks of my life. Well, who Kyle. thought the absence of one negative influence could make us all so much happier? <laughs> I know, right? I can't wait to watch you play tonight, Kyle. And I can't wait to watch you cheer. You know, cheering takes just as much skill as football does. Sometimes I think you're the main event and we're just there to support you gals. Oh, so Kyle. cute. You're so hot when you're sweet. Thank God Max is gone. Wasn't he your friend? <laughs> yeah. But he forbade me from dating and he wrecked my dad's skidoo. Fuck that guy. Good for you, babe. Hey, Pete, What's this could do, guys? I have no idea. Will you pass okay, the test? Cool. With flying colors. Oh, Good job. A C plus. Steph, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh. My dad couldn't believe it. Got my phone back and everything. And uh, I couldn't have done it without you. Helping me study these last two weeks. You know, this is, this is really your C plus. Oh, Steph. You can keep it. <laughs> It'd really bring down my GPA. <laughs> You're such a nerd, Smikovsky. Wow. That's the first time anyone's called me a nerd since that night. Oh no, we're haunted by the past. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> well, they to did kill a man. We did, but it is really hard to do that when everything is objectively better. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. But maybe it's for the best. So, you going to the big game tonight? Oh, no. Jaegerman doesn't let nerds go to football. Huh. 
Well. You know, maybe I will. <laughs> I've never been to a football game before. Aww. Ugh, they're really boring. And both teams kind of suck, but we could go sarcastically. You know, get some popcorn. Might be cool. <laughs> you mean, like, go together? If you want. Okay. Okay. Cool. Aww. <laughs> I'll see you there. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> wow. Good job, Things buddy. really are different around here. The trees are greener, the sun's brighter, and I'm going to the big game. Fuck yeah. Go Nighthawks. <laughs> it's like the first day of school, yeah. Everyone hey, is Ruth, nice now. Because Max is gone. Got a resolution to social climb. Want to join the swim team? And go to class on time. You're early today, but you let you I never thought I could open up my locker without the fear running through me. And now I don't need all Anime's my cool myself. now, guys. Mm -hmm. Everyone yeah. watches anime now. Don't go night off to take the fight until the With the saturated towel, no, no more bully ball. ball. <laughs> We're all giving the butt slaps, yeah. With consent, of course, cause <laughs> we care. There's a trust in the locker room air. We're, We're taking back the hall. I, never I, could walk into I think it's like really interesting how even the popular kids' lives are significantly better at that point. Yeah. yeah, they're like way happier. like to acknowledge one vital member of our team who's gone neglected for far too long. Zeke the Fighting Nighthawk! <laughs> Go Nashville! Richie, yeah. get over here! Really? You want me in the huddle? <laughs> we don't He's want like you sweating here. so bad. <laughs> we need you here. Wow. Whenever I feel like throwing in the towel, I just look over at the sidelines, and there you are dancing, falling all over yourself. <laughs> Reminds me of why I love this game. Richie, we're sorry for bullying you for all those years. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And we'd like to apologize in advance for if Max ever comes back, because we'll probably go right back to doing it. <laughs> I don't think we'll have to worry about Max ever again. 
Now, what I'm about to say might sound like bullying, but I promise you it's not. We appreciate you warming up the crowd and everything, but now we'd love for you to take a shower and air out that suit, because you smell like an open asshole right now. <laughs> no offense. None taken. I have overactive sweat glands. Uh -huh. Listen, Listen, sometimes you need your friends you, to tell you, please you take a shower. Reek, man. <laughs> yeah, really. Get the shower shit lit. Hygiene is it's an you act of chase. love. Let's go! <laughs> See you at halftime. Oh, yeah. Go get him! Yeah. Go get him, Nighthawks! Fuck Clivesdale! Fuck him straight to hell! Assholes! We hate Clivesdale. No. Man, I love those guys. They're my bros for life. Uh oh. No. <laughs> uh oh. For the first time. <laughs> and we're in the bathroom too, aren't we? <laughs> I feel like I belong. Oh. Uh oh. I love this school. It's a good thing Max is never coming back, right? <laughs> I love being alive. <laughs> Richie. Hello? Guys? Richie. Jace? Kyle? Quit fooling. Uh, you promised you wouldn't bully me anymore. Uh, remember what you said? Oh, I remember what I said. Do you? You fucking nerd! No! No, 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 no! It can't be! You're dead! I'm free! And you know what that means, bitch? No more Mr. Nice Guy! <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice before. No, 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 no. Yeah, really. Did you miss me while I was gone? Yeah. Did you really think you'd get away the hallway safe that I won't break you? You can see I'm much improved. That ain't good news for you, you bitch. Cause I got a list <laughs> and you're on it. Whoa, whoa, does the math club comfort you? Should I join the smoke club, you nerdy? <laughs> Classic. Always a smoke club reference in every Hatchet Musical. Nerdy proves must die. Nerdy proves must die. Everybody cool, watch those nerds run for their lives. Jager men will rise. Blood will be my prize. Nerdy nerdy proves watch me shock and cock you blood and shock you demonize. Do you think I see? Get two shits that you buried and left me. You filed my body. You pushed me off the edge. I'm on a new crusade. The world is just too well behaved. It needs to be saved. And you're too weak to be enslaved. Nerdy proofs must die. Nerdy proofs must die. Everybody cool watch those nerds. <laughs> Of your kind, expose the bloody lie. Nerdy, nerdy fruits, watch me spawn. Pray upon you anti socialites. What are his powers? What should repeat after me? Is he, he's a oh, ghost okay. or a zombie or what? Who will pray for me? Who will pray for me? When I'm gone, when I'm gone, or until another Richie comes along. C can you repeat that one? Who will pray for me when I'm gone? Or is this the eternal dark without a dawn? Who will pray for you Who will pray for when me? your body's gone? This is the consequence for what you've done. What did you say? Don't kill me. I'm not a nerdy prude. I'm not a loser. Of course not. Richie. But you have lost everything. 
No! <laughs> no, please! <laughs> no, 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 I think that's the end of Act 1. That's Wait, the end of Act 1? Mm -hmm. Is it a two act? I had a nightmare. A horrible mm -hmm. nightmare. Max Eagerman, he was dead. He was angry. He was so angry and he wasn't sexy at all. Mama, I'm cured! <laughs> that's nice, dear. But you better that's hurry nice. or you won't be early for school. It's 6.30 already! Shooting Shinola! <laughs> I'm worried about Grace. Sleeping in like this, it's not like her. Well, she's Sleeping 18, in all the way till 6.30. <laughs> Remember how oh wild we were at her age? Oh. On the phone till 8 p.m. <laughs> Sneaking out to watch PG films? Oh, I never did that. <laughs> morning, Daddy. Good morning, sunshine. Do you have everything you need for school? Yes, just missing a kiss from Mommy. Oh, Gracie. <laughs> Hang on, gang. This is more disturbing this than everything important. else in the musical uh, combined. Just um, this family. Uh, hello? Really? <gasps> they did. <laughs> it's so. <gasps> oh, Mark, that's wonderful. Congratulations, Dad. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. uh, you see, oh. I told you oh. your father would sell that old oh. Whalen place one of these days. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, what household? Mm. The old Whalen place on Hickory. Uh, so the home inspectors got there this morning. <laughs> What did they find? You don't say. You don't say. Well, I'll be down there in a jiffy. Okay, he doesn't sound they horrified. Maybe they didn't find a they dead body. They didn't say. Oh. <laughs> they didn't say. Only that I should come have a look for myself. Gosh, I hope it's not termites. <laughs> have a great it's day termites. School, sweetheart. I think it's a dead high school. Oh, heck. I'm so heckin' fudged. Uh oh. That was some game this weekend. Man. Fuck Clivesdale. <laughs> Fucking chemists. We'll get them next year, Pete. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it would have been nice to have Max back. Just for the big game. Yeah, uh... All right, I'm gonna need the three of you to shut the fudge up about Max Giggerman. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Because we cleaned the entire house <laughs> with bleach. We covered all our tracks. Except I can't find my WWJD bracelet. I took it uh, off when we were oh. dismembering the body. But I put it back on, right? You saw me with it on, right? 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 Oh, Grace? Is there something that we need to be worried about? No. Um. Uh, holy shit, all those cops. Grace? Why are the police at our school? All right, I'm going to need the three of you to stop freaking out, OK? Okay, just shut up and keep your beads cool. If you think about it, it's a good thing my dad sold the Whalen place. Because he's gonna get a huge commission on it and he's gonna build a pool in our backyard. So there. Grace, you said that house would be abandoned forever. We trusted you. And trust me that they can't trace anything back to us. Attention, Hatchetfield High students. Would Ruth Fleming, uh, Grace uh, Cassidy, uh, Stephanie Lauder, oh. and Peter Spankowski. Oh no. Please report to the principal's office. The police would like to ask you a few uh -oh. questions. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hi kids, come on in, have a seat. I'm Detective Shapiro, this here is Officer Bailey. Don't look at me. <laughs> Get your hands out of your pockets. Sorry, sir. Don't mind him. <laughs> He's just going like he this. He hasn't had coffee this morning. You kids want some coffee? Can I get you anything? Anything at all? How about that game this weekend? Fucking chemists, right? We'll get them next time, though. Go Nighthawks! Yeah. Go, Go Nighthawks. Mm -hmm. mm. Too bad our boys weren't playing with the full deck, though. Mm. You ask me, they were missing the most important member of the team. You know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. 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 Without him, the Nighthawks went out there and they just shat the bed, didn't they? Real shame what happened to him. Damn shame! You see, kids, he was murdered. 
Well, how do you know it was murder? Uh, yeah, it could have been an accident. <laughs> yeah, maybe he fell. That's what happened. He fell. Shut the fuck up, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, fell? Yeah, I don't think so. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with the deceased. Word around school is you four were his friends. Friends? Barely. No, we Whose hardly word knew is that? Yeah, I knew him. I just hated his guts. Not, not enough to kill him, though. Uh, yeah, just maybe enough to scare him or teach him a lesson. Not, not even that. Yeah. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, about so, two weeks ago. Bullshit! You want to think a little harder? You sure you didn't see him in your AP calculus class last week? What? <laughs> What? That's it! Rax isn't here, the only one who's dead. Zeke, the fighting Nighthawk, was murdered the night of the big game. We lost the... Clydesdale! Fuck it! The Nighthawk. That is why they lost, man. Clydesdale! <sighs> so you four are going to spill everything that you know about Richard Lipschitz. So... Wait, someone killed Richie? <laughs> oh, well, we don't know anything about that one. <laughs> or any! One. We don't know anything. <laughs> you four were his friends. Think, is there anyone in Richie's life who might have had it out for him? Someone who maybe had a grudge against... nerdy prudes? What? Killer left a message. Written on the wall, in your friend's blood. Nerdy prudes must die. Now, does that mean anything to you? No. no. Bailey, Shapiro, we got a problem at the old Whalen place. We found another one. The Yeagerman boy. Shit! Let's go! Thanks for your help, kids. Yeah, thanks for nothing! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Well, <gasps> we're fucked. <laughs> they found Max. <laughs> yes, Ruth! We are fucked! For several reasons! Nerdy prudes must die! Those were Jaegerman's last words exactly! You know, well, maybe it's a coincidence. People tell me to die every day. No, I don't think so, Ruth. I think somebody knows what we did, and now they're after us. How could anyone know? Because someone spilled the beans. All are cool beans. I don't know about you guys, but I smell a heckin' rat. Been talking to any uh, telemarketers lately, Ruth? I wish. You're so desperate for attention. Maybe you thought you could get it by dishing up a big old plate of juicy gossip. Okay, I admit it crossed my mind. <laughs> no, then my anxiety kicked in and uh, my mouth went all dry and don't bully me. Leave Ruth alone. Was it you, Steph? Or maybe it was you, Spankowski. No. Someone told. Or there was someone else in the house that night. Don't be ridiculous. Wait. <laughs> Someone else in the house. That could work. Grace, what are you thinking? <laughs> Relax, ye of little faith. <laughs> I'm gonna get those pigs off our backs. This is Hatchet Field Action News with Dan and Donna. Shock, despair, tragedy. All of Hatchetfield is reeling after an unspeakable loss. A loss to the Clivesdale chemists. But chin up Nighthawks will get them next year. In other news, two Hatchetfield High students have been brutally murdered. Richard Lipschitz and <laughs> In other news, Yager. our kids are getting We're murdered. We're taking you live to City Hall for an emergency press conference with Mayor Solomon Lauder. Oh good, the mayor will definitely help this. Our town this. is no longer safe. <laughs> Two teenage boys are dead, and until the murderer is brought to justice, I am locking this city down. We'll be implementing a strict You could believe it. No what if they actually killed each other? Or under will be out past sundown. <laughs> what if? They'll be safe at home or at school, where I'll be posting police at every entrance. Mayor Lauder, Mayor Lauder, is there any truth to the rumor that your daughter has been questioned by the police? Is she a suspect? My daughter is cooperating fully with the investigation. She has nothing to hide. What about you, eh? The killer could be any one of you. So don't point your fingers at me. Point them at your neighbors. 
Your co-workers watch your backs hatchet field. They're Accuse a everyone you know. And I'm missed. I've never known darker times and I've covered the protests live at the hatchet field's kennel. I am Dan Reynolds. With action yes, news for Jason and Pierre. I hate to relay the news, but the football team might be screwed. Stay inside, watch your children. Cause our losing streak's coming. Our losing streak's coming. There's a man on the loose and he's got a gun. Better put at the APB. Neither of those kids were killed with a gun. If he gets me next, yes, make it yeah, free. Don't, don't make it We're chasing wild goose and we don't know how. Watch the blade go around. And down, down, down. Hatchet now in Hatchet Town. on the hatchet handle. Swinging on the youth, it's a hatchet scandal. Careful all your folks will end up a cannibal slave. It ain't great. You're better on the run than you are hiding. Suddenly this quiet town's exciting. I heard that the brains were soup, their intestines were caught in two, so it's gotta be Donna. My Donna! <laughs> it's gotta be Donna! Biggie was in the school. You'll know that the local news. Okay. You're about to get a ton of cameos, and they're all from crime. They're all from Nightmare Time. I surely won't. All these people they're accusing of from Nightmare Time. He's on the loose and he's got a gun and he's got a motive to kill. I'm in a hurry. The case is close. The description matches the bill. Fits the bill. Fits the bill. The killer's gotta go for what he's done. If you don't take him in, I will. Get your hands down, 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 down. <laughs> Now in what, what, what? I am the man. Excuse me? How dare you? She's gonna be the lead in the next musical. I, I did see that, but I didn't know who she was at the time. Until Gerald. Gerald is Linda's husband from Black Friday. Yeah, I remember Gerald. I knew it was Gerald! Linda, call my lawyer. <laughs> Let's get up! Someone's got their hands on the hatchet handle. Swinging on the youth, it's a hatchet scandal. Careful on your kids, we'll encounter a terrible fate. We're at Hell's Gate. Because <laughs> he drowned in the toilet. <laughs> Lockdown? Where do you think you're going? Rehearsal. I'm running the light board for the school production of the barbecue monologues. Ah, <laughs> barbecue monologues, eh? I saw that in New York. Really? How was it? Fucking transcendent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, move along. <laughs> <laughs> Here, miming. <laughs> Is this a Here's play the within thing the play? About 
There's always a play or a musical in every single one of these. It brings folks Usually together. they're a little more ceremonious. This one just came out of nowhere. <laughs> There's a story behind every burger. Every kebab. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> every kebab. These stories tonight are a lot like these patties here. Well done. <laughs> you hear that? That's the sound of love. Family. <laughs> Passion. Betrayal. <laughs> I just want to make them happy. I just want my neighbor to finally notice me. I want to remember who I am. <laughs> this is the story of my barbecue. My barbecue. My barbecue. My barbecue. <laughs> These the barbecue. are our barbecue, barbecue monologues. Hold. That was great, guys. Oh, OK. Uh, uh, Caitlin, yeah. can you give me a little more heart mm. when you say my barbecue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ruth, I think we missed a light cue. Well, someone got the cue line wrong. It's supposed to be, I want to remember who I used to be, Trevor. Uh, I, I lose my spot when they don't stick to the script. All right, everyone, let's take 10 and places for the top of the show. Stage manager appreciation. Thank you, Ben. Yep. If you don't stick to the script, no one can do anything. Center stage. You think you can handle it? I guess. <laughs> oh, God, Ruth has such an attitude. I love her. Whoa. So this is what it's like, huh? To be in the spotlight instead of the booth. Betcha I could do it. Betcha I could. At least as well as Caitlin. I could act. If it wasn't for my anxiety. My greasy skin. My rainforest pits. In my dreams, I'm the star of the show. In my dreams, it's my barbecue. Yeah. Yes. No, I haven't seen your grill brush, Maury. Oh, uh, yes, I used it to brush my hair this morning. Can't you tell? Oh. Don't leave me out here with the meat, Maury. <laughs> medium, what? How can something be medium and well, Maury? <laughs> oh, Maury. <laughs> oh. I turned 40 today. <laughs> <laughs> of a dream I never had. <sighs> Saturday belongs to soccer practice. I pack their little cakes for after the games they never win. And life is full of all of the trappings of the well-to-do. Shop for shutters to obstruct the view And life is fine If only it were mine But just for once I'd be the center of attention Just for once remember what a life can be 
Just for once I'd feel the light inside The burning of a candle Living just for once Living just for 39 I lose Man, my these hair barbecue and I'm careful song slap. <laughs> About the attention I ensnared. Judge me. It fucking worked. I'm fucking here. He's fucking her. I'm disappointed. There's still carpet in the bathroom. And of the two, who's the worst for wear? Me. We love our dogs, especially Captain. He's a bullshit mix. <laughs> Just for once, my life could be just what I wanted. Just for once, I'd feel the spark that I once knew. Just for once, I'd feel the fight inside, the burning of a candle, something more. Lauren is so good because she's just she's just to be there alone on an empty stage, yeah, and do this whole song by herself. And they knew what they were doing, giving her this number. Oh, gets cast. Yeah. You're right. I you could do it better than Caitlyn. I found your brush, Bori. <laughs> it was right here, all along. Why is the plot of this imaginary barbecue monologue so dash darn depression? Boo! Boo! You're gonna kill her after that? Who's watching me? You well, fucking suck, Flimwad. There's a thing oh, no, where. Richie finally felt accepted by the team. Ruth finally conquered her fear of the forms, and that's when he got them. Having a little stage fright. Max I believe your next line is. No, theater puns. I want to cast you as my leading lady. She's got quite a death scene. Let's raise the curtain, shall we? Project Ruth, they can't hear you in the back row. Oh my god! You're splitting me in two! Show's called Big Fucking Wedgie. We're still in previews, but critics say it's quite a killer. What a way to go. One got swirlied. One what got wedgie. What a stirring performance. Take a bow, bitch. It's a cold ass line. All right, everyone, we're back. Places for the opening number. Uh -oh. Ruth, did you get that? Oh, 
Oh my God. <laughs> Afternoon, Miss Chastity. Officer Bailey tells me you've come downtown to share some information regarding the ongoing murder investigation. Yes, I think I know who may be responsible. Really? You seemed so tight-lipped the other day, but I'm glad you're coming forward, Grace. You want some coffee? I'm not allowed to have caffeine. When my mom and dad drink coffee, they let me have a cup of hot water so I don't feel left out. Can I have one of those? <laughs> oh, that can be arranged. Plenty of hot water for you, Grace. <laughs> Bailey. Oh. Uh-oh. So, the night Max Jaegerman died, you went for a bike ride. That's right. I was passing the Whalen place on Hickory mm. when I saw Max Jaegerman hopping fence. Strange, I thought. Why would anyone want to go into that old spooky house? <laughs> I never would. Mm. Then I saw a van pull up and a group of teenagers got out and followed Max inside. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but then when I heard Richie got killed, suddenly I remembered a crucial detail that made everything make sense. The van those kids were driving that night had a bumper sticker on it that read, <gasps> Chemist. Oh. The mascot oh. of Hatchet Framing. Sworn Enemy, <laughs> Clivesdale. Oh shit, not Clivesdale. <laughs> Think about it. Who stands to gain from these murders? Max Jaegerman, our star quarterback, and Richie, our beloved mascot? With them on the field, the Nighthawks would have trounced the chemists. They had to go. Their murders were a part of an insidious plot to rig the big game. We don't know how deep this goes, but as far as I'm concerned, every citizen of Clivesdale is guilty until proven innocent. Ooh, okay, Grace, you want me to open an investigation on the entire population of Clivesdale. I could spend years on what might be a wild goose chase. Whatever it takes for justice to prevail. Well, <laughs> performance of a lifetime. Grace. This is some incredible detective work. You're welcome. Don't know how to repay you. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, did you happen to lose a WWJD bracelet? I found one in your principal's office. I think you might have dropped it when we brought you in for questioning. Oh, that's where it went. I've been looking for this thing everywhere. Don't mention it. Oh, Dummy. Silly me. I didn't find that at your school. I found it at the old Wayland place. Uh-oh. Underneath the floorboards, if you can believe it. Right next to the body of Maxwell Jaegerman. Grace, Grace. You're not half as smart as you think you are. Is she gonna sell everyone you else out? You saved this group of mystery kids follow Max into the Wayland house. How'd they get in? No broken windows, no sign of forced entry. It's almost like they had a key. Like maybe one of their dads was a realtor. Isn't your dad a realtor, Grace? Uh, I don't think I should answer any questions until I have a lawyer present. <laughs> You're 18, Grace, and we can try you as an adult, and I will personally make sure they throw the fucking book at you if you don't start playing ball. Your little story here accounts for Max and Richie, but it doesn't mention the death of Ruth Fleming. Ruth's dead? So I don't know who's masterminding this murder spree, but I know you're involved, and I want answers. I don't know anything. Bailey, place Miss Chastity under arrest. You have what? the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. No, 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 you can't do this to me, okay? This isn't my fault, this isn't my plan. Whoa, 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 whose plan was it, Grace? It's God's plan! <laughs> and now he's leaving me out to try. Do something, you son of a bitch! All right, all right. Put your hands behind you. She's your losing back. it. Oh, shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. Grace, Grace, She's put the gun it. down. You don't want to do anything stupid. I don't intend to. I'm going to go to the nearest church and claim sanctuary. That's not a thing, Grace. <laughs> don't <laughs> follow me. <sighs> Calling all units, putting out an APB on one Grace Chastity. She's an 18-year-old Caucasian female. She will be riding a pink Schwinn. I repeat, a pink bicycle with a basket and Ugo horn. Don't let that fool you. She is armed and extremely dangerous. <laughs> So good. Oh, that was like, why did they start screaming so loud? Wow. <laughs> That's why. Look at all those cop cars. I bet they're after a perp. 
A perp? <laughs> Seriously? It, it's short for perpetrator. Mm. I'm in the neighborhood watch now. Really? Well, it sounds like the streets are safe again, thank God. Definitely. Uh, well, if you see anything suspicious, you can um, give me a call. And he gives me his number. Very smooth. You know, I see you in here all the time. What's your name again? It's Paul. Excuse me! <laughs> I have been waiting for what feels like five fucking years, and I still have not received my goddamn hot chocolate. Give the man his freaking hot chocolate right now. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, Pete! Keep it together! Keep it together? There's a murderer on the loose who knows what we did, and we can't go to the police without confessing to manslaughter! Yeah, well, having a public meltdown in the middle of a coffee shop isn't gonna divert suspicion, is it? Oh, this is easy for you. Your dad's the mayor. He can get you out of all kinds of trouble. My dad sells women's shoes! <laughs> <laughs> I should've okay. just kept to myself. I never should've gotten mixed up with you. Huh. Oh, so you're saying this is my fault? Well, it's simple causality. This whole thing started because you asked me to cheat on that test. Yeah, so. well, you didn't have to say yes, so really it's your fault. Don't spin this back on me. Oh, you could have ignored me and I could have copied off of some other nerd, but we both know you can't ignore me because you're crazy about me. What? <laughs> it's obvious. You can't stay away from me. Oh, oh. Really? Because you're the one that invited me to Pasquale's? On the first date, Steph, have some respect for yourself. Oh, that was not a date! I only go on dates with guys who have the guts to ask me out, which you've never done. By the way, that dork at the beanies counter has more balls than you. Well, who says I want to go on a date with you anyways? Oh, come on! Like Micro Peter wouldn't kill to go out with me. You know what, Steph? I'm done. I never wanted you anyway. I always knew my place and knew my life. That hot chocolate has spit in it, buddy. But you mm -hmm. had to go and seduce and play a game, but I'm off that train. Wait a minute, you're not off the hook. Who's the victim when you shoot me looks? I never go for a geek who spend the prom in a stall. If I loved you, you would know it. If I loved you, it's giving a I won't say I'm in love if from Hercules. You, yeah. I should be loved. Loved you like I'm capable of. If you were the one I'm thinking of. Oh, oh babe, I'd let you know. I mean, we're graduating. I'm convinced anyway. you guys don't want each other. How's it going out of state? Ooh, I guess we better save the day. Homecoming queen, the football team will meet your needs. You bet they can, oh babe, you bet they can. Don't need a lover boy, need a lover man. Sure, I'm a your sexual, you're intellectual, but I come alive and lost this when I can. If I loved you, you would know it. If I loved you, I would show it. It's only now that I can see what you're hiding. You're using me just to move up. Wake me up when you turn 18. Looks like you got to grow up. Show me how I'm the user when you're using your power to slightly get all that you want. Wake me up when the mean girl is more than me. If I, if I. That's funny because she was in the <laughs> Did they buy it? Did they 
buy it. Nah, dang it! I need a doggone drink. Give me a cup of hot water and make it strong. Uh, Grace, you're kind of freaking me out here. Yeah. Are we in trouble? Do we need to get a hold of Ruth? <laughs> Good luck getting a hold of her. Does your phone plan cover calls to hell? Hell? She's bisexual and dead. Where else would she be? <laughs> wait. Wait, Ruth's, Ruth's dead? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> the three of us may need to get out of town. Grace, what, what did mm. you do? Mm. The cops know everything, but don't worry. I have a plan. No, no more of your plans, Just okay? Just cool your oh beast, Steph! <laughs> Just cool him right the heck down. Oh my god, is that a gun? Check the front door, Spankowski. Get in. Oh, oh she's okay. Move over. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to the docks. We're gonna commandeer a boat, and we're gonna sail it to Canada. Okay? <laughs> we may have to give up some Canada. of our liberties, but at least we'll stay out of prison. Wait, wait, wait. This, this so is crazy. Funny. I'm not helping you flee the country. You better. Because if I'm going down, you holes is coming with me, eh? No. You hear that? <laughs> no. I'm gonna blend right in. No. Choose me, everybody. <laughs> I'm a cop. I'm looking for an 18-year-old Caucasian female. Oh, no, crud. Excuse me, officer. I'm with the neighborhood watch. I might have had eyes on your purse. Stop! Do not approach me! Get your hands out of your pocket! Okay. Put your hands down! I'm sorry. I'm He's going for a gun! Holy oh, shit! Oh, oh, quick! Oh, get in the alley! Oh, 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 Stop resisting! Oh, Stop resisting! Oh, oh. You can just catch a break in any in any version of the story. Okay, okay, okay. Cops are swarming the streets, so you, um, you know what? Let's just, we're gonna scale this wall, and we'll jump from rooftop to rooftop. It'll work, because we'll have the higher ground. Give me that! You have no idea what the hell you're doing, okay? Every plan you've made over the last three weeks has been a fucking disaster! You ruined our lives, Grace! I know. Oh. I just haven't been thinking clearly lately. All I wanted was to be a regular girl with no sexual desire until she was safely married. I never asked for this tickle in my mommy's spot. I've done so many terrible things, like touching myself and lying to the police. Yeah, <laughs> yep, those are the worst things. Dismembering a body. Well, <laughs> we all did that, so... But I... <laughs> called God a son of a B-word. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> um, it's all right, Grace. Don't comfort her. She's fucking weird. Okay. <laughs> you two go. I'll turn myself in. No, Grace. Unfortunately, we're in this mess together. A sentiment I understand all too well, Stephanie. Whoa, Mayor Lauder. Dad, how'd you know I was here? Stephanie, please, I've been bugging your phone since you were 12. <laughs> and for good reason, the one week I take it away, the one week I'm not watching you and you go off and do something cosmically stupid. Dad, we never meant to hurt anybody. I don't give a shit who you kill. But you just had to go and do it in that house, didn't you? Uh-oh, cosmically. You three are coming with me. Uh -oh. Are you turning us in? What does he know? The police? They can't stop him. Nothing on Earth can stop him. Stop who? Get in the car. Tough job to be mayor of this town, to stand sentinel at the gates of hell. With the office comes knowledge of certain uncomfortable truths. What are you talking about? The Church of the Starry Children. That's what they call themselves, the Waylands in the little social club. It's true, all of it, the stories, the cult, the rituals. Told ya! But it wasn't delusion or madness. They did have power. For 150 years, the Waylands ruled this town. It took an army of axe-wielding maniacs to finally lay them low. And even then, they lived on. In a way. 
But nothing that dies in Wayland Hall ever truly dies. The church saw to that. It was a spell they cast on the house to ensure their survival beyond the grave. A spell you three idiots unwittingly triggered. And now Only someone else killed is him back not again, there. and he is making good on his promise. Nerdy prudes must die. Are you saying oh, Max Jaegerman is a fucking ghost? Ghost? Demon? Call it what you want, but he can go where he pleases. Do as he pleases. You can't hurt him. You can't touch him. But he can touch you. You've created a literal monster, Stephanie. No. This is crazy. It's He's not scientifically monster. possible. Tell that to Max when you see him. Maybe he'll just fly away. We're here, sir. Thank you, Miss Tessberger. Well? Out. What are we doing in the woods? I'm not doing anything. You three are going to dig. There. The Waylands had a weapon. The source of their power. When they were killed, it was lost. I don't know how many hands it went through, but 15 years ago, they came to me. A book? A book? <laughs> the Black This book. is also Nightmare Time. The Abominable Tones. This is lore. The Black Spells. Book is in there. Incantations, the keys to unlimited power, but it all has a price. A terrible price. And you three are going to pay it. Because this isn't just about your worthless little lives. Max won't stop with you. Once you're dead, he'll kill all the nerds everywhere. And he won't stop at killing because that's all he is now. Okay, assuming this isn't all just one big mind fuck, how do we stop him? With a spell? From your spell book? No spell can unmake what he's become. You're going to perform a ritual to summon the things beyond the book. Those that give the book its power. The dark gods the Waylands worship. You mean Satan? Oh no. <laughs> They're much worse. To survive this night, you'll have to strike a bargain with the Lords in Black. It's like I always say, you gotta come to the woods to do some nerd watching. I love that once he died, he just became so petty. Who do you think? <laughs> Max? Surprise, Steph. I got one hell of a party planned for ya. The last one you threw me was such a killer. I thought I'd return the favor, bitch. Uh, uh, Max, who, what happened that night? He was an accident. You know it was an accident. Stop trying to reason with it. I gave you the book. Perform the ritual. Oh, we don't know how. You do it. No. I'm not touching that book ever again. You started this, Stephanie. You finish it. These woods always were a bitchin' make-out spot. In fact, I just put the moves on this total smoke show. She gave me head in her car. Check it out! Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Miss Tessberger. You were worthless. <laughs> Yet he takes the head. Ready for your recall? No, no. Max, remember, nerdy prudes must die. That's not me. I'm an elected official. I'm the most powerful man in Hatchetfield. I beg to differ, bitch. Of course, you are the most powerful, but I can help you. I have connections, I have friends. I, I can buy you beer. <laughs> How does that sound, son? I hate politics. It's for nerds! No, Max, don't do this. Watch out, Mr. Mayor. Here comes the swing vote! No, no, no! Dad! Steph, we 
we gotta keep moving. OMG, this book is crazy. Did you find that ritual? I think so, but we can't perform it out here. It needs to be performed at a black altar. What? One of five special places in Hatchetfield. See, look, they're spread around town. There's a map. Okay, uh, so that's downtown. Um, meaning that, uh, I don't know. It's a Starlight Theater. And that's the Wayland Place? And the old mill? Oh, it's Lakeside Mall now. All places the Waylands built. Don't Every even location. That should feel hot, right, Grace? Oh shit! Someone's coming. Oh, Pete, get behind me! I've got a gun. <laughs> Steph, <laughs> it's a ghost. I don't think that's gonna do any <laughs> Shoot good. the ghost. On the ground, bitch! I'm a cop. Oh. <gasps> that's not a ghost. Heck, Heck no! Well, well, <laughs> Grace Chastity and her accomplices, huh? <laughs> Hands above your heads. Sure. Detective Shapiro, you have no idea what's going on. If you just listen to me... Shut up, Chastity. The only thing I'm gonna do is take you three in. Back of the squad car. Now! Yeah. <sighs> Officer, please, you have to listen to us. We know who's killing everybody. So do I. You three. I don't know if it's some kind of sick club, an online trend you found on Reddit. I don't get you kids <laughs> popping Tide Pods like the fucking candy. Detective Shapiro, are you a woman of faith? Catholic. I'll take that as a no. Um, <laughs> imagine Great. you're a good Christian. Sometimes you have to listen to people and believe what they say, even if it sounds crazy, against everything you know, in spite of all common sense. Grace, you are the least fucking persuasive person. I'm telling you, Max Jaegerman is the killer. He's back from the dead, and we're the only ones who can stop him. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I examined the corpse of the Jaegerman boy myself. He was in pieces just how you three left him. He was gray. He was rotting. He was there. He's right there. What the fuck? I kind of figured he was going to show up. <laughs> We're not too worried about being well, what, what, what was that? Now do you believe us? There's something not right here. There's something deeply wrong with this whole town. I always thought so. I never should have left Chicago, damn it! <laughs> you missed the Windy City! Well, let me throw you through the windshield, bitch! <laughs> For long, Max is toying with us. He could end this at any time. So then let's end him first. Pete, is she okay? Can you feel a pulse? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but the school is a quarter mile that way if we cut through Pinebrook. Come on. Well, the gym's as good a place as any. Okay, uh, oh. here's the ritual. It's holding court with the void. Steph, are you sure about this? I mean, who knows what kind of door we're gonna open? We have to, Pete. For Ruth, and Richie, and everyone. Grace? Summon these bastards. Okay. We invoke the names. This is my favorite song. be the only name you recognize. Did it work? Hello, Fwendy Of night, nimbly wants his sacrifice and wiggly wants his wrath. We dance around the pit.
Thing is time. So he, Ted messed with time. He's a man. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Don't be so formal, Steffi. We're all pallywals here. I mean, look at us. We even I hold court doing, in your like, own tongue and form. Go, Nighthawks! <laughs> <laughs> Our true forms would melt your mind. Don't frighten him, Pokey, you nasty boy. Uh, we need to stop Max Jagerman. We heard you can help us. The Lord in Black will help you, yes, you stupid silly girl. Why help you with the Jagerman when we can help the world? Hmm, we could. We could take hold of little Maxi and pull him right down to Drowsy Town. Swallow his soul, I want to lick it. <laughs> but why? Maxi Poo's about to get you. Tear you all to bloody bits. I want to see that. <laughs> How about a bargain? We'll give you whatever you want. Just get rid of Jaegerman. Whatever we want. Whatever we want, we want, we want. Whatever we want, we get. Whatever you want, you want, you want. Forever in our debt. Hmm. What could you give to me? Let me check my Christmas list. <gasps> there is some <laughs> terrible noise. What? What do you want from us? Something fun. Something tasty. Oh, you'll hardly miss it. We just want what you cherish most. That's all. <laughs> what we cherish most? What do you mean? What do you want, Steph? One of you must give up the thing you treasure It's also real nightmare time ends. that that particular Lord in Black is behind the stuff die. that happened in the guy who didn't like musicals. Treasure I can see. Else. I know what it is. My phone! <laughs> my whole life's on this thing! My contacts! <laughs> my pictures! We don't give a shit about your phone! <laughs> we want what you really want. You can't lie to us, Steph. You can lie to yourself, but not to me. Think about it. Ah, the audience. There <laughs> he is. Steph? No. No! What's in your pocket, Stephanie? Stephanie has got the gun, tra la 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 a fun. Stephanie has got the gun, she knows what must be done. Put a bullet in his brain and we'll take Maxwell off your plate. I... I can't! Pay the price, or fuck off! Out of the depths of hell and back, a spot of the black and white. Cover our souls with robes of black and take up the arms of night. You summon us once, you summon us twice, you gamble it on the roll of the dice. The devil is one, it can't be undone, the book is all but closed on your life. I think that's my favorite song too. It's so good. It's so like upbeat, but so scary. Yeah. Steph. She not what those do things it? mean? There's no way. Who do they want you to kill? Come on, bro. There are three people here, and two of them are girls. <laughs> like, what is that? Hey, could say nerds! his brain. Welcome to gym class. Today we're gonna play kickball. I'm after uh, your balls, bitch. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Hop the fence! 
them across the football field, and we'll keep running. We'll hide. It doesn't matter where we go, he'll find us. There's only one way to end this. Steph, I know what those things want you to do. No. All my life, I just wanted a girl like me. Aww. But I guess it's not all roses, huh? Ah! This is all your fault, Spankowski! I just wanted to cheat off of a geek! I didn't want to like you, you made me! Well, I refuse! You give up what you want! Your Pokemon cards, or your comic collection, or whatever it is you're into! It's you, Steph! Of course it is. I'm into you! No matter what, one of us has to die. And not just to save the other, to save everyone. Let me do it. You can call this luck. That's my perspective. Surprise, baby. One of us is in love. It doesn't take a detective. Pete, I can't, I can't shoot you. Let me be cool this time. Let me take the bullet. Is it really a crime? Did you get to live your life to the fullest? What do you think you're doing? What do you think I'm doing? If I loved you, you would know it. If I loved you, I couldn't show it. If I loved you like you should be loved, loved you more than the stars above. Loved you like I could have. Whoa, I'd have to let you go. I'd have to let you go. I'd have to let you. Hey, Steph, if things were different, would you want to go to homecoming with me? Are you joking? I'd like that. This song makes me cry. <laughs> I'd really like that. Cool. I'm ready. I'm not. I don't, don't, I don't think. Please, Steph, just do it, please.
careful with that thing. Uh -oh. Stack. He caught it. You might hurt someone, and that's my fucking job. Stay away oh, from but, her. But, but, okay. Hey, I'm kind of happy, but. I just took a but... bullet for you, bro. <laughs> Give me a break. Wait. God. Oh. I want to thank you, Steph. I used to worry my life would be over after high school. Now I see the afterlife's not so bad. It's just pounding nerds. Once I'm done with you, butt nuggets, I'll take care of those losers over at Sycamore. In the whole damn town of Clivesdale, all the nerdy prudes must pay. But I'm gonna start with you, Steph. You lured me to that house. You betrayed me, you fucking Judas. So you do know the Bible. <laughs> This is gotta be Grace. the showdown. Grace, get out of here! I always thought there was something about your wrath that was so Old Testament. Huh? I used to have a crush on another guy who rose from the grave. But Jesus <laughs> never threw a football like you, Max. Grace, what are you doing? Shut Grace your fucking fart hole, oh. Spankowski! I want to hear this. As you were saying, Grace. <laughs> you were right about me, Max. I tried to hide it, pray it away. But you were right. I am a dirty girl. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> And He's I've still been in my bathtub boy. every night brewing Truly. up a big There's, old pot of dies. dirty girl soup just for you. <laughs> what? Uh, it's, it's what you call my bathwater in my sexual fantasies. <laughs> <gasps> That's nasty. I like it. Oh yeah? You dirty dude. What the fuck is happening right now? Take me, Max, right here on the 50-yard line. <laughs> but, uh, Grace, I gotta kill these nerds. Are you really gonna pass this up? Are you gonna come under the bleachers with me, or am I gonna need to find another stud to use? <sighs> <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Priority, man. Alright, okay, wait, now what? Oh my god! What are we watching? Holy cow, they're doing it! Why are you still watching? Y'all are looking on like crazy! having sex with a fucking ghost! Good for Grace, but um... Justice. Oh. <laughs> wow. I needed that. <laughs> She's just like a hey, different uh, person now. Grace, where are you going? Don't you want to cuddle a little bit? <laughs> Max, I just gave you a gift. A very special <laughs> gift. In fact, I just gave you what I cherish most. My child. <gasps> <laughs> yes, Grace. <laughs> you know what that means, right? It means you're going to hell now. Genius. What? She really came through in the end. I paid the price. Now, fuck all. What's happening? Hello, Maxine. <laughs> Wonders await you down here in the black. You're in my world now, bitch. No! No, 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 Whatever! It was fucking worth it! I'm 
chance of a lifetime. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Eyes on me. <laughs> Brooke, up here. She's giving everybody time for Students like quick changes. A patch at field high. As she should. It's been a rough couple of weeks, hasn't it? You lost more than your fair share. Your classmates, your mayor, the big game. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get him next Always year. Always the big game. But the point is, you got through it together. Tonight is your homecoming. Enjoy it, Nighthawks. All right, come on in. Let's go, let's go. All right. Okay, all right. Jeez. <laughs> all right, empty your pockets. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? I don't know. I should give you an MIP. Get in there and let me see you for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Stephanie Lauder and Peter Spankovsky. <sighs> Think you two can stay out of trouble for one night? <laughs> I'm not making any promises. What the fuck you just say to me? Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> so, you really think those kids had nothing to do with the murders? Don't know. Don't care. And you're just gonna let Grace Chastity walk? I am gonna get some fucking coffee. Come on, Shapiro, hot shit city detective. Hey, how do you explain the mayor's disappearance, huh? Detach a field. People go missing. She saw one okay. ghost and was like, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> wow. True. She almost Homecoming. died though, so, you know, kind of real. You know, for a minute there, yeah. I didn't think we'd see it. <laughs> well, I had a change of heart and decided not to get the dance canceled. Oh. Thanks, Grace. Well, gotta go. My date's waiting. Did you guys know Jason goes to my church? Only for Christmas and Easter, but we're working on it. Uh, well, <laughs> shall we? Uh, you should know I'm a terrible dancer. Oh, just let me take the lead. I took four years of tap. Mom said it'll help me make friends. Boy, was she oh, wrong. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, You're such number, a nerd. Number. But the bow tie is growing really on. Cool. Sorry, no time. I never wanted to love you like I do. I never wanted to hold you like I do. I wanted, I needed the kind of love from someone else. We heard it, we bonded, the blue put off the shelf. Oh, then the night falls on the town. Oh, just as he is. This is perchance the happiest ending to the Star King musical. Like by saying that, I'm gonna get yourself You've already jinxed it. Around, this is so, like, how they did it. I like that his bow tie me. me. It's like you threw me. It's like you fooled me. It's like you test me. But that's the best me. I need it. I want it. The kind of love from someone else. We heard it. We want it. I was kind of beloved. Lights up on the town. Oh, just as we start lying down forever. I'm the best of you. How do you look like without all the makeup?
Oh. I had a really nice time tonight, Grace. Me too, Jason. I can't believe we ever used to call you a two-bagger. I think the reason I always used to put you down is because I always thought you were pretty. Well, you could make it up to me if you like. How? Kiss me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Absolutely disgusting. What? Really, Jason? It was a test. Kissing on the first date? You think we're grown up enough for that? Grace. She we're says 18. this after she literally exactly. had sex with Max. We're only 18. But it was for You're a, it was for dude, a purpose. You, Jason? So true. Well, someone needs Just to rid to this the town world. of 40 pervs like you. She went Grace, off the deep end. <laughs> what are you doing? Invoking the names. <laughs> You see, this spell lets me devour your soul. The souls of the pearls make me strong. <laughs> Grace, you're freaking me it's out. Crazy. You think I'd stop with him? Who? You think the time that I was chased was being waste on a holy mission? Grace, what are you talking about? I'm the girl you thought you knew Just keep your hand there on my thigh Like all the guys who came before you Are you hard because you're stressed? What? Or is this a power I now possess? Dirty dudes must die! Dirty dudes must die! Every dirty dude watch us Destiny will rise, you stole me my prize. Everybody could watch me score. We'll write the But does she like, okay, you just like encounter supernatural beings. Do you still believe in your, your Christian God after that? Your faith would be a little sh shook. Run, dudes! Run! High school is killing me. It's got me gotta set up the sequel. Also, you have to let Angela scream. <laughs> yes, you really do. Okay. Slay Will. Wonderful. Slay Bryce. I'm just appreciating. Who's new? I think they're the only new, like, I think Will and Bryce are the only, like, really new ones. I think everyone yeah. else has done at least one show. And then there's like some ensemble, but I don't know if all the ensemble people had like appeared in Nightmare Time episodes before. Well, that was oh well. What a time, time. has flown. Time yes. has flown. Yes, that was two and a half hours. <laughs> yes, and it's much later. I feel like we also talked to her a little bit at the beginning, so I just like checked the time right now, and it is a lot later than I thought it was. Uh, that was that was a delight. I, I do it. have to go. I, I feel bad now for all the lore that I didn't know. And I feel especially bad. I mean, Haley, you'll let me know, I guess, when you see this footage. But someone down my hall is blasting really bassy music. It's and okay. has been for the last hour or so. So, you know, I, that's why I put both my headphones on and I turned my volume way up so I wouldn't hear it. I can feel it <laughs> through the floor. <laughs> Anyways, I, I've been like seething with my own personal rage for the last hour just because of that. But besides that, <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. It's so Are they good. going to make another one? No, I think this is the end. Because it was always this supposed to be like end. a trilogy, and then there was that mm -hmm. huge, you know, there was a pandemic, so they were doing all the Nightmare Time stuff on like yeah. on YouTube, and then this is like the first show they got to do in person again. Um, and the next the one pandemic is probably is where like I this. lost, like, touch mm. with it. The next one's Cinderella. Yeah, so not related. <laughs> so kind of in the same vein as Twisted, question mark? I think it's, 
twisted but also starship because Starship had puppets, and there's going to be a lot of puppets in this Oh, one. there's going to be puppets. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, and we've got some Avenue Q action going on. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that'll be really fun, and I'll be caught up by the time that one comes out. But mm-hmm. um, I just did the thing. I just did the thing. The <laughs> <laughs> um, It's me. I am the nerdy prude, you guys. <laughs> well, I honestly... Really, really liked the music in that more than I thought I would. Like, I so I did good. again. I can't stop with my... <laughs> I can't stop doing this. I really like Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals music. And Black Friday was less... So... I liked it, but it wasn't... None of it stuck with me. But this one, I'm definitely going to go back and, like, re-listen to the soundtrack the way that yes. I did with Guy Who Didn't Like you Musicals. absolutely should. It's so Gorgeous, good. gorgeous music. Um... Really good, just a general ensemble. Um, as always, like, I don't know how to, this is, they like put a lot on their plate. The fact that they write these musicals and they choose to to do all this shit to themselves, like these crazy quick changes and these like mm-hmm. storylines and big lighting changes. Like they, they build these shows to be, pun not intended, a nightmare to produce, put on and, <laughs> They do it every time. So props to y'all. Um, so I miss, like, I don't know. I can't help. I always miss, like, old cast members in the new shows. That's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was a, just, like, a really strong cast. And everybody mm-hmm. was very well cast as well. Yeah. I I do miss Jamie a little bit because I think this is the first Star Kid show she's not in. <sighs> yes. She's I in, like, all the other right. ones. I'm like, She's, she's, yeah. But she's busy doing life. Same as, like, Lauren and Joey type, type ensemble member. Um, Yeah, and I I felt, like, genuinely, I could be wrong, but I felt like the, the, um, why am I blanking on his, the Max's role was Mm. kind of in the vein of, like, a Jeff Blim role, usually. And I don't know if it was written for him. Well, Jeff wrote it. He, he wrote like he wrote it. Yeah, and he often writes himself into these things in roles like that. So I wondered that, and I kind of was glad he wasn't. Sorry, <laughs> I was kind of glad he wasn't because I like to see the new actors. And this guy killed it. I guess I'm sure he has like a long history of performing, but he's a really good, really really good performer. And so was Bryce, who I don't know if she, this was her first. Um, musical or if she's done anything with them before but like acting chops this is it's a hard style of acting it's really high intensity the Mm -hmm. whole time the whole time and there it's it's kind of you know over the top but they're very specific types of characters as well and there's like and i don't know i'm not a good comedic person i don't feel like i could not get up and like try to make people laugh for two and a half hours i'd be so scared so i don't know i just have major props for anyone who can keep that energy that high and keep a whole crowd actually engaged for that long (sighs) it's it's one of those musicals that like every time i go back and watch it there's like something some new little detail you can find and like you just see how much effort that they put into it like every time the book opens the lighting changes and it flickers between all five of the colors of the lords in black and like oh, it's yeah. so cool. Oh, that is neat. And it's it's nice cuz it's such a like Broadway shows have crazy huge teams and huge budgets. And I know like Star Kids got a budget for sure, but it's a small team of people. So like the people behind the scenes deserve massive props. Obviously, as much as the people on stage, but the people who who design and produce these shows have a lot of commitment and a lot of talent. Um and once again, I need to uh, let's call out board operators, lighting designers, tech designers, set designers. Mwah, they're wonderful. They need more appreciation. Um, yeah, that was a good way to end out, I think, our musical run on the channel. And it was better than cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, the bar was if we... the bar was on the ground. Truly. But if, if we had ended with cats, I think that would have been a disservice to musicals in general. Um, so yeah, and super hard, like 
we're we're back in we're we're so back baby we're so back <laughs> we're back in horror um we've got some cool stuff coming up uh but at this point there a poll will have gone up so we'll see what you guys are interested in horror wise um but yeah just stay tuned to the channel for some really cool stuff to those of you who came to patreon especially for this thank you guys for for being here and supporting us um Again, you're part of a special exclusive club that no one else is a part of, so you get you get mwah, a special <laughs> kiss. <Mwah>. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I think that'll be all for us today. We'll see you next time in whatever horror movie we end up doing. And this is the full length reaction, but as always, subscribe to the channel, join the Patreon if you have the means, support us however you can. We appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next reaction.